Welcome, 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 everybody. Come on in and have a seat. My name is Sisterly Thrower, and I apologize for the little bit of a break there. I had to go potty. Uh, uh oh. Heck of a place to jump into. Uh, so do we stop using the counters I made? Because that's fine. I'll just hate you for the rest of your life. Um. No, we're using the counters in Odyssey. Those 30 hours I was awake were the worst mental health day of 2019 by far. Lack of sleep will do that to you. And he's been so inconsistent with games, it's hard. That's fair. Not because of lack of sleep, the problem caused the lack of sleep. Oh, is that Pokemon still thing still getting to you, man? You can tell what I don't get enough sleep in the day is going to be awful when I wake up in the morning. I feel hard existential dread. Granted, I was so emotional I did get all my bookshelves organized after three months. Congrats. That would be your way of coping with stress. Mm-hmm. Bitch, I got into a keyboard war tonight. Oh, jeez. Who's the unlucky soul? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, hi, hey, hi. Let's see if I remember the combat. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, are you trying to help me? <laughs> Just go to my Twitter if you want to read it all. It's about the whole situation. Gotcha. Hey, you, you okay? You got leg, got a boo boo? By Zeus. I would have been a goner there if it wasn't for Lucky you. Lucky I came by. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Epi. Well, a peasy loss, but my friends call me Epi. Not that I have friends, necessarily. I'm Alexios. Charm. You have the look of someone used to being out in the world. You look like you shouldn't be outside on your own. At all. It can't hey! Be. I've been <laughs> overcome with adventure. I have, in my possession, a Mykinian tablet that leads to a sacred burial site. I'm calling it. Good for you. I'm out. Elaborate grave sites full of precious things. How precious? Ancient jewelry, ceremonial swords and daggers. So, very precious. If you escort me, I'll show you. Okay. How can I turn down a promise of precious things? The fates have delivered you onto my path. Granted, last night I went to bed at midnight, woke up at 9 a.m., and had no dreams for the first time in like two weeks. Thought you'd consider that a good thing. Uh. Oh. I was gonna say, that looked a little. Em oh, shoot. Was I supposed to be at that place? Crap. All right, well that's all right. We're gonna circle back around. We're gonna go there first. It is obviously. I, I don't know. Kind of bothers me when I don't have dreams. I haven't had a dream in like several months.
Oh, that's cool. Whoa, my eyes are messed up. I'm already sorry I looked up your thing on Twitter. I'm closing the app. And so when I woke up, I was feeling better, but then I got it into it with some troglodyte. Um, don't blame me for not reading all. I had to stop replying because I was getting legitimately upset. Oh, boy. Bad place to take a squat there, buddy. I'll take a look at it later. something on fire okay no that's not the right button never a fan of getting into any heated discussion whatsoever via Twitter So while organizing my shows, I was downloading some of my physical PS4 games onto my console. I also found out Handsome Jack Collection for Borderlands doesn't include Borderlands 1. I think I knew that. Did I? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Oh, you're just a person. You're not a... There you go. Yeah, I think the remaster of Borderlands 1 was separate from Handsome Jack. I mean, I guess it wasn't as an... That, I'll admit, is where my knowledge stops. I have no knowledge of who was or was not in Borderlands. So, I guess as good as mine on that one. One thing I will say about my keyboard war was I'm glad it wasn't with a faceless person. It was a guy with an actual. It was a guy with an actual person, not a cartoon anime picture or something anonymous. And at the risk of sounding indelicate, what did you expect getting into an argument with someone on the internet? be a person with an anime picture and not their face why does that make a difference does it make a difference or is it just something you happen to notice Um, no. Well, people like to anonymous, anonymously shit post on the internet. Yeah, I mean, that's not news to me. My question is just, you know, does the existence of a picture actually matter? I mean, it's not like it's someone you actually recognize. It absolutely makes a difference. There's anonymity without culpability in the argument. It fits with Naruto.
so you have the face of a person you've never met. Along with a name that you don't recognize. You know, go ruin someone's day and not have it traced back to you. I don't know, I mean, I guess there may be some level of my own cynicism here, but... The fact that it's a face with a name and not anime lover 7364 with her picture. Oh, so it actually had the appearance of, like, a legitimate name as well. I see. I see. I don't know, see, like, my thing about that is it's just as easy for me to post a fake name about who I am. But, yeah, I mean, if it makes you feel better, that's great. I'm, I'm not trying to rag on you, I'm just curious. Sorry guys, I gotta go uh I gotta wash my face for a second. Something's going on with my eye. Context? No, it's not the contact. Alright, I'm sorry to change the topic, but there's some kind of sex happening across the hall from me. Oh, goody. The fact that you describe it as some kind of and not just sex always change the conversation if it involves that. What are they doing? Good God. Feel this entire level of the house shaking. Oh no, I'll go one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I'll do. God, I love no fall damage. Oh, by the way, just... Anyway, he says changing the subject. By the way, guys, I did want to uh, inform you, for those who were curious, the last day of my vacation, so uh, Sunday, I was playing through The Division and got to a very particularly difficult uh, difficult main story mission. I finally beat it about an hour ago. Uh, I opened up what I was doing to public matchmaking, and one guy was actually willing to join me, um, so we beat the mission. And, you know, I might as well change the subject from previous subject change. Makes sense to me. I mean, I'm, 
It's not like anything's going on here but me swimming. Swim me, swim me, swim me, swim me, swim me. Swim me. Oh, this is important, y'all. Okay. I have two questions for you. And I'll ask them one at a time. Number one. When you were younger. Like a child. Well, I mean, we can't... We can talk about the new Mortal Kombat character. Sure. I mean, Mortal Kombat's stupid, but, you know, whatever. Okay, you can't just stop mid-question. What do you think? Oh, he wanted to talk about Mortal Kombat. Slar is here. Cetrion, she's an elder god who controls all the elements and we fucking stand. I don't think Melina is going to be in the game, which makes me sad, but we stand this goddess. Ask the question. <laughs> okay, Solaria's here too. That's good. The more people on this, the better. So, when you were younger, and by younger, I'm defining younger as before the age of 18. Oh, goodness, it's called multitasking. What the fuck did I walk into? Oh, that's uh, an important question. <laughs> but nothing more than the same usual mess that you always walk into whenever you come here. <laughs> when you were younger, before the age of 18, did your parents, like when you bake cookies, did your parents let you eat raw cookie dough or not? What is going on? What is life? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Kamalama? Kamalama? 34? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Ohana. And please feel free to pop off and chat. I would love to know what brought you to my little corner of the Twitch universe. Uh, Slaria says yes. It just says, I have never baked cookies with my parents in my life. Fair enough. Please, I subsist completely off of raw cookie dough. <laughs> okay. These are very different answers. Okay. Well, Mitchell, then. I'll, I'll switch this up for you, then. For you, when eating raw cook... When you made cookies, did your parents ever get mad at you for eating raw cookie dough? Big same, I think he meant big mood, but whatever. Anybody else, I mean, feel free to comment as well. This is not just limited to uh, those who are currently popping off in chat. Oh, that's a bear. You never made cookies, really? That's you all have your figures. Raw cookie dough diet to be hot. It's the raw eggs. 
think we have some cookie dough too, actually, so I should get some. Oh my god, have you ever eaten raw cookie dough in your life? Yes, probably. And bear is finally a topic I can discuss. Okay, I ask this because I realized something and I thought, you know, taking a little informal survey might help. Personally, I made cookies with my parents not a huge amount of times, but like somewhat regularly, like usually it was like one day a year over Christmas break was our cookie making day. You laugh, don't lie. Uh, I know exactly what you meant about bears and yeah, I'm, I'm keeping it on my question now. So here's the deal. Until I was 18, my parents, specifically my mother, used to give me so much grief. I don't use my emote to kick people out of here. My mother used to give me so much grief about eating raw cookie dough. She used to get really mad at me to the point where I just, I, I never did it. Come to, that was until I was 18. Right around the time I turned 18, we were baking cookies one day. And we used the mixer. And after we used the mixer, good old, uh, good old mama thrower just starts going to town on the, um, on the things for the mixer. After years... After years of getting mad at me for cookie dough. She's just going to town on those mixers. And I said, Ma, what are you doing? Get your head in the game. You're eating raw cookie dough. You told me never to because you'll get salmonella. This woman tells me, oh, well, Mama's sister. No, that sounds like your mother. <laughs> It's not Mama Sisterly now. How did you survive? Anyway. Yeah, raw eggs. Oh no, I get it. But after years of giving my sister and I so much grief about eating raw cookie dough, the woman has the audacity to sit there and eat raw cookie dough in front of me. Do you know what my older sister did on her 21st birthday? Put your head in the game? The basketball choreography? I'm surprised I never got salmonella. <laughs> you know what my sister did for her 21st birthday? Sisterly, if you've been reading that group DM, I'm sorry you had to read all that. I haven't gotten a chance to read it yet, no. But if this is like another one of your usual bullcrap apologies, then you can sh shove it. Because I'm going to read it anyways. Did you not get that reference? Yeah, I got that reference. I just didn't care enough to acknowledge it. Don't read it. After all these years, you really don't know how my mind works. You tell me something like, don't read it. I'm going to read it. Oh, so you do know how it works, so you actually do want me to read it. That's why you're saying, don't read it. I feel personally attacked. God, my, my eye is, like, bothering me. Mitchell, don't lose 175 pounds. Oh, deal. No, I don't want you to yell at me. Ha <laughs> ha! You can bet your bottom freaking dollar I'm about to read it now.
Sorry, but if anything, you did this to yourself. Mean guy, sisterly. He is mean. Not while you're streaming. Okay, again, you really don't understand how my mind works. For you to say not while I'm streaming makes me want to just read it now, but... Oh, shoot. I have to be with that guy when he gets in. Oh, I got my new emote approved. And here you'll see the Solaria in her natural habitat attempting to change the subject. Look at her go. to cut. It's not it. I'm going the wrong way. Ordinarily, I would take a look at these new emotes, but my right eye feels like it's on f fire right now. <sighs> you have to forgive me on that one, but I will take a look at it. What'd you do to your eye? I have no idea. It's been bothering me ever since I got up this morning. Our red laser pointer. I wanted to have fun with a high powered laser pointer. Alright, let's pick this one up. What's up, my dude? We stand poor vision. Alexios of Aiyad, the eagle bird. Oh, the it's of you. Zeus, he who launched a thousand hearts. Algibiades. I'm known by many names, but that last one sounds to be of your own making. My young friend Orthimetheus here could use your legendary talents to woo the object of his desire. Carrot. You have my eternal gratitude. I'd like to know more about the man asking for my help. I love Alcibiades so much. I, I came to Alcibiades because he boasts of his exploits as a lover and knows Braxila. Braxila. Uh. I'm a Mystios, not some famed lover. You want me to kill her? Just from looking at him, but enough of that. What's the job? Have you ever heard of Braxila? The nope. Name sounds familiar. Who is she? Who is she? A poet blessed by Apollo himself. She describes the gods as if they were her lovers. Her lyre is a legendary weapon wielded in her hands. I want to meet her, but talking to a goddess such as she? Terrifying. Suddenly I feel like Hitch. Usually you give a woman some flowers and she'll show you her flower. However, this is Praxila. She is not easily impressed. Of course. No ordinary flower will do. They need to be worthy of a goddess. I come to this coast every year for the poetry festival. Of all the beautiful blossoms, not match the Carrots in the show by sight. Shh. The coral rose. It's a secret. Fetch some and all doors and legs. 
shall open for you. You shove them into your eyes, they might. <laughs> Just right here, two carrots. Right in the eyes. I'll return with your flowers. Where can I find the coral rose? It sounds rare. Mm, you would be correct. However, like all good things in life, these take more work than most are willing to expend. They're atop a nearby mountain. I want to eat carrots. I've never had a d craving for carrots before. Say I do get these flowers. Where would I bring them? Back to camp? Braxilla should be in her tent. Okay. Mentioned being here for a poetry festival. So I'm in season three of Yu-Gi-Oh. I've never it's seen this season. That's cool. Festivals to Apollo, but this one holds a special place in my heart, among other places. Dip the carrots in cookie dough. Here we worship like maenads. I've heard enough. Please, if you are as skilled with sword and heart as Alcibiades says, you'll return to me with the coral rose. Brilliant. Let me go grab some. Do not tip carrots in cookie dough. That sounds disgusting. I'm with light rage. That sounds horrible. Nope. Doing it. BRB. Also, Rags. Yeah. Yeah. Such a visionary. Yeah, you, the great visionary, shoving. Uh, what was it in Powerade? Was it M&Ms? Okay, Elon Musk, imagine if I had his money. If he had his money, you'd blow through it in about a week. money all my problems would melt away every last one that's not even remotely true It is absolutely true. People who say money can can't solve your problems must not have had enough money to solve them. That's not even remotely true. People think that money solves all their problems, but it doesn't. First of all, money is just going to bring its own new set of problems. And second of all, the problems that you have do not exist because of a lack of money. Problems by their definition are a lack of met needs, and money cannot possibly meet every possible need.
So I'm sorry. I'm of the camp of money can solve most of your problems and indirectly solve the rest. Ah. They've done studies before on uh, folks who have won the lottery. Like obscenely large amounts of money in the lottery. And time and time again, studies show that the folks who all of a sudden come up with large sums of money are uh, consistently, consistently unhappy. Thank you, we stand one man here this evening. He's going to fight us on it for the ne next hour. I'm not gonna fight you on it. 2v1 we win. You're more articulate and he respects you more so you do the talking. You know I'm right. I'm just sitting here eating my carrots and cookie dough so leave me out of this will do. It's because they're doing it wrong? <laughs> no. No. Okay, the lottery is an awful example. I'd also go insane if several million landed in my lap. Well, what are you suggesting is ha should happen then? This money that you want to get to solve your problems, how are you how are you saying it should get to you then? study is a thousand percent correct yeah <laughs> several million in my lap right now I would not complain one iota I'm sure you wouldn't complain one iota but that doesn't change the fact that um, to a startling degree people win the lottery are not happy In fact, out of a survey of, I think, I think it was several hundred lottery winners, they found two that were happy. I guess I'm thinking more building money over time. I think you underestimate me. Because then you feel like you did it. Light Rage, I understand what you're saying there, but I would then move to the point of um, is it the money that made you happy or is it the work that you put in that made you happy because if you look at it what you're talking about is the difference of did you put in work or did you not because like we were talking about, you suddenly get, you know, several million dollars thrown in your lap. You're probably not going to wind up being that happy. But, you put the work in, I would argue that it's the work, not the money, that makes you happy. If I had money, I could visit my boyfriend, pay my loans off, and not live with my family, and also focus on Twitch. Okay. Money doesn't solve the original issues there, though. Like, take your family, for example. Oh, there's not a surface in there. I'm gonna drown. No. Why are you getting stuck on rocks? I'm so gonna drown. Think you're underestimating the power of money? Oh no, quite the opposite. I think you are. Money has the power to cloud judgment and cloud thinking 
and just hide the reality of what's going on. Like, talking about Solaria's issues with her family. I'm not going to sit here and say they're not well-founded. But money doesn't change the fact that, you know, people aren't happy. Money just lets you hide it. Go to grad school, move to LA or New York, get my friend's money, get a trainer, a nutritionist, and personal chef. He was at 175 pounds, which will get me a boyfriend. I never have to see anyone again. Yes, it would be the work, but also in order to exist in the United States, you need money. Oh, don't get me wrong here. I'm not... I'm not saying that money does not have a certain power to it, and money demands a certain amount of respect, because I completely agree with that. Sorry, my eye is, like, on fire right now. Sorry, what point was I making? I completely lost track. I was in a lot of pain there for a second. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, to exist in the world, you do need to have a healthy respect for money. You need to learn how to save, how to not spend. I think a lot of people blame money on other things that are actually going on. So do the exact same thing I'm doing now, just with a lot of zeros in my bank account, I'll take the money. Would you rather be unhappy and poor or unhappy and rich? I feel like if I was unhappy and rich, I would be unhappier. And I would if I was unhappy and poor. Need to look it up, but I recall a study where 70,000 a year this area will be well provided basically no more happiness. Intro to philosophy or sisterly throw. I hope you all bought the right textbook. Okay, you know what, Solaria? You walked into this. And you keep sassing me all you want, but I'm just keeping in mind whatever this conversation is that I have yet to read. So the more sass you throw my way right now, the more uh, insistent I will be later that you get your head screwed on straight. Sorry, it was too expensive and I couldn't afford to buy it. Toss this my hair and petty. I guess I'm trying to say that as soon as you have enough money to have a certain standard of living, then you've eliminated a large set of worries from your life. That sounds like a you problem. I mean, I can go if I'm bugging you. I'm not saying you're bugging me. All things considered, you give me about half as much sass as Mitchell does. But when has this ever been a relationship between any of us? Where I just sit here and uh, let you guys take pot shots at me like that. You want to fire at me, I'll, I'm going to fire right back. Excuse me, I feel attacked. I mean, I could go farther beyond. Like, take more pot shots at me? You do what you want. That's going to be one of those streams. You people have a problem with the way I do things? guys are not forced to come. I just like having deep conversations with people. Cute popcorn. I don't know what Mitchell's attacked about. We're not even fighting!
I take circumstances like this no differently than when Light Rage tells me that he wants me to go die in a hole when we get together in person. Circumstances are no different than that. Oh my god, y'all. And yes, I just said y'all. Deal with it. Oh my god, my eye. Kids, I'll turn this car around right now. Not even fighting. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Skateboards away. You're not the boss of me, Mom. Do it. You won't waste the gas. Do it. I didn't want to go to Disney World anyway. I was so delayed, I should not have been able to get away with that. But I did, because I'm awesome. Oh. Hi, buddy! I got a new mouse and I don't know how to configure it, so that's fun. Mouse settings, thanks, Sherlock. Somebody is feeling feisty today. I'm sorry, how can he be placing a bounty if he's asleep? Looked into it a bit and I guess I gotta download something for it. It's my name on the cover. Let me go kill the bounty guy. Basically describe my day job. I 
Titans aren't going to like that. One treasure, two captains, one polo march. Refer to their regular job as J job, job as a day job before. My stupid yes, but still. I'm messing with you because that's my job. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to be able to continue the stream anymore. My eye is like on fire right now, and it hurts to open it and close it and just exist. And I'm not sure I can keep up a logical train of thought, much less uh, play this game accurately. I'm going to have to call it here early. I was only going to go for a half hour, anyways, but. I hate it, love you too. And I love every single one of you guys. But I'm gonna go find some ice for my eye or something. It hurts to exist. I felt that in my soul. Um, thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed the show today. Just more checking off the boxes. Picked up a couple more quests. Um, bird, what are you doing? So we got this little bit. We gotta go around here. Gotta go all up in this. We gotta go all up in this, up in these tiny islands right here, up through here, around over here, here, down into this piece, and down here, and then we'll end like right there, maybe. What is that? Oh, yeah, there are now historical landmarks throughout the game. The last game had um, a discovery tour or something, kind of like a museum, but it was cool. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for coming. I no one is capable of loving me. False. I love you. It's okay. Go to bed. This chat is a big pile of flaming garbage. Always is no. These weird and Gucci trash bags. I, I was going to make a joke about Gucci, but I don't think I know what Gucci is enough to be able to make that joke, so... Sometimes it's a smoldering pile of ash. Also true. If you're watching this and posting YouTube, uh, punch that subscribe button in the face like it owes you money. Slap the notification bell as well just so you guys get those same updates about when I post new content. Um, I am. I have my idea for my first YouTube-only content series. I just have to film it and edit it and make sure it looks like what I want it to look like. But the plan is... Um, the plan is to have that done in the near future. So be on the lookout for that as well. Check out the social media information for the Ohana because we are on Twitch, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Discord. Check it out. Make some friends. Have some fun because there's always room for more in our Ohana. But thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Uh, probably headed back into Odyssey because the fact that this game is still like lingering over my head is kind of bothering me. So... We're going to see how much progress we can make in a reasonable amount of time. Um, yeah, I can tear myself down. I'm looking at someone else. I'm so quirky. Basically the yin-yang symbol. Yeah, pretty much. And it's also yin-yang, not yin-yang. But anyway, thanks everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow. I'm going to go slap some ice on my face. You let Dishonored linger for like six months, you'll be fine. Yeah, but Dishonored didn't bother me that much. This one does. So, <laughs> thanks everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow with more Odyssey. I'm going to go slap some ice on my face. But until I see you guys next time, peace out, y'all. <laughs>